Hello, Hydra DX liquidity Omni pool was finally launched last Friday, so let's check out how to use the app and swap tokens. So Hydra DX is another Polkadot Spara chain that finally delivered their end user app, or we can call it the final product, Hydra DX Omni pool. Hydra's Omnipool is an automated market maker that should provide endless liquidity for the whole Polkadot ecosystem. The key value proposition of Hydra's Omnipool is that there will be multiple different assets deposited in one liquidity pool, so not only two assets in one liquidity pool as is usually the case with other DEXs, so having multiple different assets deposited in one pool will allow for very deep liquidity, super low trading fees and almost non-existent slippage. As with any new DeFi MMM platform, since Hydra Omnipool was launched just a few days ago, Hydra team is now in the process of attracting liquidity to Omnipool. Currently, the liquidity in Omnipool is just $230,000. Hydra team aims to have between 10 to 15 million total value locked in the Omnipool by the end of March. Here is the breakdown of the plant liquidity in Omnipool by the end of quarter 1. So by the end of quarter 1, all these assets including USDT, USDC, ETH and wrapped Bitcoin should be tradable on the Hydra Omnipool. Here it says Hydra team is currently working on a proposal for the Polkadot governance to receive a large amount of DOT which would be deposited into Omnipool. Besides that, Hydra team also plans to attract liquidity from other large liquidity providers, such as treasuries of other Polkadot-based projects. So all these steps should result in gradually expanding liquidity in Omnipool, that means sometime around quarter 2, the real potential of Hydra's Omnipool should finally start to unfold, as more .sum ecosystem altcoins will become tradable on Hydra Omnipool. Now let's see how to trade and swap tokens on Hydra's Omnipool and what's the price of Hydra's native HDX token. You can access Hydra's app on app.hydradx.io. Hydra's app is very clear and simple and it has a similar layout to Basilisk app. First here connect your wallet. The app supports Polkarojes, Talisman and Subwallet. Both your Hydra address and Substrate address will be displayed. On the top there are four tabs, Trade, Liquidity, Wallet and Crosschain. Under trade you can swap tokens, for now there are only 3 assets available to trade, HGX, DAI and DOT. After selecting HGX and stablecoin DAI we can see the price of one HGX is half a cent. Under liquidity tab you can provide liquidity with DAI or DOT by clicking on this add liquidity button. And it seems that liquidity capacity for HDX has been reached, so currently providing liquidity with HDX is not possible. Under wallet you will see all your assets that you hold on your Hydra wallet. Down here there are your liquidity positions. Buy and sell buttons will take you back to trading UI. And transfer allows you to send tokens to another of your Hydra wallets, so still within Hydra DX blockchain. Here under Vesting tab you can claim your claimable vested AGX token from Hydra Crowdloan. Click Claim Assets, sign transaction and sign with your wallet password. To cross-chain transfer tokens to or from Hydra blockchain go to this cross-chain tab. If you wish to cross your DOT from Polkadot Relay Chain to Hydra Chain, select as a source chain Polkadot and destination chain Hydra DX. Here paste your Hydra recipient address, then add the amount of DOT to transfer. Click transfer and sign with your password. The transaction fee will be paid in DOT. Overall, I very much love the UI of this Hydra app. Neat, simple and user-friendly, exactly what Polkadot community and the ecosystem needs. I think once the Omnipool provides deep liquidity for many different ecosystem altcoins and several multi-chain stablecoins, Hydra could really become a liquidity hub of Polkadot as Hydra team originally envisioned. But for that to happen, we still have to wait at least another half a year. That's been it, thanks for watching and see you next time.